This is Tony with Earth Files Earth History, and for years we've been told that Europa, which is one of Jupiter's moons, that the surface is made of ice with the possibility of an ocean underneath. And we've also been told that Europa has the smoothest surface of any known solid object in our solar system due to the fact that the surface is ice. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you that what we've been told about Europa is all scientific disinformation. In this next image is a angled view of the surface. And as you can see, the surface isn't smooth or flat. It's got these structures all over it and you can see where they overlap each other and that they're evenly spaced apart. So these are some type of structures that were intelligently and artificially made. Now, in the articles about Europa, they, they tell us that these are cracks in the ice, which, is, which forms blocks of ice. In fact, here's one of the articles and they call it Europa's ice blocks. But when you look closer, let me enlarge it a little bit. You can see there's ridges that run with it. So this is some type of structure. This isn't actually ice fractures or blocks of ice. When you look at this picture, you can see some of those markings down what looks like a tube. And if you notice, it goes over this structure here, whatever this is. But I was really curious about what these structure, structures were. And since they're not fractures in the ice, then there probably isn't any ice on the surface or ocean underneath. So I began to dig through a lot of journals. Here's a, a close-up. This has probably been ossificated and cleaned up. But you can see on how both sides are the same height and there's, the distance is almost equally across all the way down, even though the surface has shifted. And then here you have it again going over this material here and then as you can see this material covers parts of the surface to me it looked like that this was some type of canopy and over the millions of years it had collapsed this surface material right here can be found in this scientific journal on Europa and here's a close-up of it now of course over the millions of years this stuff is going to deteriorate and collapse and it shows just a slight degree difference in both sides this one here is almost perfect which also means that this was intelligently made Okay, in this scientific journal is where I found this. And I'm going to bring it in closer. And now you can really see it. You can see where the structure is twisted. You can see where the structure goes down into the surface and there's pieces of it missing and they're consecutive and they're equally spaced apart and then here's that round tube that went over it right here and it also has some type of uh, shape to it or structure that's exposed my thought 
is that it had to be some type of transportation system. And so as I kept going through the journals, I ended up here at the uh, Crow Volcanic Emplacement of Domes on Europa. Now supposedly this image here is what's underneath the ice or what they claim is underneath the ice here and that the radar was able to pick this up and bring this what they call a crater visible. You notice that tube again that we saw earlier? Here's another one. It comes out of the ground, it comes up, it goes through here, it's got a support here, and then two in this area. Apparently this was some type of facility or city or something like that. Now I don't know, there's no way of knowing uh, how much of this has been obfuscated. Was this actually showing um, and not underneath the ice? And they said it was. And when I talked about with it pos this white material being possibly some type of ca canopy that collapsed, you can see part of it that's laying over the, what looks like a tube or a pipe here. So this in, so this was the indication to me that it was a transportation system, and it went into the different cities and transported whatever it was transporting. And then here's a close-up, and then you can see it again. And then you can see the material that's fallen over it. And you can look at, this is not ice. But I needed just a little bit more information, and I was able to find it in this image. And what we're going to look at first is these structures right here. This image is not going to be real clear for the fact that it came from a thumbnail, but I was able to clean it up enough so you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to take the image and I'm going to make some adjustments to it. And now you can see these structures pretty clear through here. Here's Part of the structure are the walls are still standing. Here's that perfect 90 degree here and here. You can see another one here, which is these are structures still standing. You can see part of the foundation showing right in this area here, and then these little dots that look like pillars who are equally spaced apart and they go all the way around, all the way around and it's shaped like a horseshoe. Now we're going to go to the upper part of this image and you're going to be able to see a city and you're going to be able to see a vehicle on tracks which means that what I thought was some type of transportation system is actually a transportation system of some type. So let me make these adjustments. You can see the building here on the top of it. You can see the walls, how they spread out this way. You can see the smaller buildings. Of course, you're never going to get a clear image on none of this stuff that we get because they simply are just going to cover it up. Here's a tower that has fallen over and has some type of glass top on it. When it fell over, it looked like the glass broke away. And it almost looks like the material that covers Europa, which I think is possibly a canopy, maybe glass is the reason it looks like ice. And then you can see the train or whatever this machinery is here it's in sections, and it's round. So apparently it traveled down some type of tube and this part 
of the material for some reason is gone, but you can see where the, the track system came out of the underneath the surface here. So it did travel in tubes, and it looks like it did underneath this gap here. Because when you look at the bottom and go all the way up, it's at an angle, which means probably when the surface shifted, it pushed the framework for the track upward with the, uh, the train or the vehicle that's sitting right here. And there's a quick close-up. Now, the damage started fragmenting, so that's the best I could do on it. But you can see that this vehicle is round. Kind of neat looking. This last image is supposedly an impact crater that's on the surface of Europa that's covered in ice. But when I go in and make the adjustments and bring it in closer, you're going to see that it's actually some type of structure. I'm going to keep bringing that should work right there. And you see these openings are equally spaced apart. And you see where the material on the surface wraps around into it and goes back out. So it looks like that this possibly is part of the can canopy and that this structure was attached to it. And when the canopy was suspended over the surface, this structure stood up straight. And then over the millions of years, eventually the canopy collapsed. And when it did, it laid this structure back down on the surface. And that's the reason it's tilted this way. Hopefully by now, even after watching this um, video, that you understand that the truth about our planet and this solar system has been completely covered up. And one of my suspicions is because the history was so bizarre. Okay, everyone, I appreciate you watching. This is Tony with Earth Files Earth History, signing out.